<laughs> honestly, the the people that were the biggest promoters of weed in my life have always been women. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Like I used um, to have these three girls that would drive me to school and they would smoke weed the whole time. <laughs> With the 420 being tomorrow, people talking about uh, smoking, mm-hmm. smoking weed in yeah. this particular case, mm-hmm. but also in the news, I thought this was uh, I thought this was interesting. Parliament over the UK, they have approved a bill that if it gets final approval, would make it illegal for anyone born after 2008 to purchase or use tobacco products, like, <laughs> all together. Wow. wow. You're banned. This is where things after, are going. After the, um, 2008? The smoking age will be raised every year until it excludes everyone born in 2009 or later. It also sets fines for retailers that sell uh, tobacco and vaping products to underage people and also establishes a special government division to combat the black market cigarettes. Wow. That so they're, they're trying incredible. to get rid of smoking altogether. I was on a college campus recently, and they yeah, so there were signs everywhere. This is a completely tobacco-free campus. Yeah. Interesting. When I summered in Cambridge <laughs> for summer school, and I asked the HA, the housing advisor, if you're allowed to smoke in the campus housing, he said, allowed to? You're encouraged to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everybody so, smokes. Yeah. Not just classy, but also cool, you know? Yeah, yeah. like everybody. You'd be in class. Yeah. People are smoking. Right. Yeah, did you have that little stick thing, Greg? <laughs> and your cigarette was at the end of it, like a little flute? I wish. I never had one of those. Uh, a couple things on the 420 thing. Uh, first of all, we have Menace doing a higher education where Menace got baked yes. and did an interview with somebody, <laughs> and we're going to mm-hmm. learn all about dream interpretation, Ooh. which I know Sammy was very excited right. about. I'm yeah. so excited. I can't wait to hear about it. Yeah. Um, and then the other 420 thing, uh, one little stat that I'd, I'd seen is that you know going to uh, cigarette smoking, people are way more shy about admitting that they smoke cigarettes at this point than they do oh, weed. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It was the, the stats they had, yeah. yeah, they they broke down like so many of these different stats, and yeah, people are way more closeted about their yeah. tobacco Painful. smoking than they are for sure that they that they smoke weed. So that's a big difference from how for you're sure the, you're the how dregs it used of to society be. if you have yeah. a cigarette, right? It's not what's cool. It even do it does not right, but I mean, there's still a stigma attached to weed depending on what generation you're from. That's true, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely you know. There's a difference in the generations, but also there's there are still people, no matter you know age group, that still feel a certain way about it. I I, I keep running into people every once in a while, yeah. like eh. the old like, timers, oh, right? Exactly. They all came out of the woodwork, by the way, when we were doing that event with Cypress Hill, and I said that you know Cypress Hill mm-hmm. smoked me out. You can, I can't believe how many people like sent me something saying like I can't believe that you're in this you know still promoting. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Drugs. Drugs. Mm-hmm. Gateway. <laughs> and by the uh, that's I know I know it's a common term in the weed folks uh, community is smoke yeah. me out, but it sounds gay. <laughs> sounds <laughs> smoke gay. Me it out. sounds gay. <laughs> Smoked me out. Hey Greg, I'm gonna go smoke you out. Smoke me out. What yeah. does that sounds like? Gay. I never thought about it's, that. I mean, it is very phallic. It sounds gay. It involves. <laughs> or it sounds sexual. I, I should say. Yeah. Suck off sounds. You know. They right. Smoke me out. Yeah. But like, I'm gonna smoke, smoke you, you out. out. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> I don't, I'm not really picking up gay on that, are you? I, at least I never sexual, thought of it. Well, man on man, uh, but like, I'm yeah. gonna smoke you out. Right? Yeah, hmm. I mean, like, <laughs> man on man. Like, that sounds more like I killed somebody. I smoked them. Smoke me out. No. But if you're saying it like, like in a positive way, I'm gonna go smoke you out. Like, ooh, really? Yeah. Right. You're like, oh, awesome. Oh, okay. To be honest, I don't mind putting we a never, sexual connotation. We never on said it. that to each other, but I'd have women that have said that to me. Yeah, see? So maybe that's more hedro. Have you? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it I is hedro. <laughs> like, was that a I dream? Was that part of the dream interpretation? No. I, oh. I Honestly, <laughs> the, the people that were the biggest promoters of weed in my life have always been women. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Like I used um, to have these three girls that would drive me to school and they would smoke weed the whole time. <laughs> well, we're going to learn about dream interpretation oh, with boy. Menace's yes. higher education. Menace got uh, stoned. Yeah. And I, uh, I started talking to this dream interpreter. Uh, I, she wasn't a fan of me, but I really enjoyed <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed talking to well, her. Well, she's very serious. Yeah, okay. yeah. Menace is stoned out of his uh, gourd. Yeah. Did she Ravi, know you were stoned? Ravi, weren't you watching uh, Fallout? Yeah, and it, I love like, Fallout. And it, it somehow ended up in your dream? Well, here's the thing. Fallout is a really violent show. Yeah. A lot of um, watching through you know, like your fingers and stuff. But I have found that... The more violent a show, the earlier I have to watch it. Like, I can't watch it right up against bed. bedtime. Like, The Walking Dead was that way when I was watching it. And because all of a sudden in my dreams, I'm running from zombies. 
Okay. And so, so like the whatever your, I do your last are influenced by directly influences yeah. what I'm going to dream about. God, yeah. I wish that so was the I'm case. I really yeah. careful about it. That'd be so it. cool. Like, like I pick your dream. Fallout was not a show I could watch right before bed. Is that why you watch porn before bed now? I watch porn right right before bed, so (laughs) that follows me into my dream. Nice. And, you know, I do a lot of, you know, smoking out. Yeah. You know, porn style. Sure. Oh, yeah. I get high and watch porn. (laughs) Nice. You dream of smoking people out. Right, exactly. Well, we got uh, Menace. Yeah. Who got super high. What was it, edibles or Uh, just smoke? Yeah, so I met Cheech and Chong. And they gave me some of their edibles that they had. I I had a couple of those. Your it says only take one, but I had two. Mm-hmm. And then because I have a high tolerance. And as do, <laughs> as I was doing the interview, you know I love those paps uh, paps the seltzers. Oh, yeah, yes. seltzers. Yes. seltzers are yes. so good. So they have uh, their own weed company called Paps Labs, where they make these different seltzers. And so I was enjoying that as well while doing this interview. Cheech and Chong was on with uh, Bert Kreischer. Mm-hmm. On his uh, something's burning, yeah, that he does, and he was asked like our Cheech and Chong were asked, who's the most random person that you've gotten high with, and they said Wally from Leave It to Beaver. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> that, was, that was pretty funny. Oh. <laughs> they said the number one person they want to smoke with, or who should be on the Mount Rushmore, yeah. of uh, weed smokers, should be Paul McCartney. Yeah, part, oh. yeah, he got mm. arrested in Japan. Huh. That sh- that shot well, there's your Japan. mention of Japan. Nice. Boom. Yeah. For weed smoking. Sweet. Yeah. But yeah, this lady, uh, the dream interpreter. Um, <laughs> interpreter. <laughs> interpreter. Okay. She's, the, uh, she's an expert in dream interpretation. Yeah. And uh, Menace did an interview with her. He was, as you, you know, just heard all the different things he was doing, is super high. And he's talking to her. And we're going to learn all about dream interpretation. And may I say, I loved, loved, loved talking to her. Did she love talking to me? I don't think so. <laughs> and, uh, Getting high, this is a perfect subject for high talking, is dreams, right. you know. Right. Yeah, and I think yeah, it yeah. was because Sammy had a little insight on it because <laughs> um, I guess she was hitting up Sammy because I wasn't sending the the interview link mm-hmm. uh, promptly, and so she was getting kind of frustrated. Yeah, it that. was 15 minutes before the interview was supposed to happen, and he hadn't sent it yet. So she uh, called well, me high. saying, hey, I don't have the link for uh, this interview. And I was like, oh, yeah, he sends it pretty last minute. And she said, very last minute. It's 15 minutes before. I'm like, wow. he'll yeah. send it at the time it's That's, supposed and to and happen. And then she gets on the phone with me, and I'm like trying to reset my password, and I'm like. Yeah, and she's nice, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, no, she, she cares. Of, she didn't. She didn't like. Me. Like I, I do interviews all the time, and it, that's that's mm-hmm. common because they, you know, to just yeah, I'll send you the link once. Why the, do you yeah, need okay. it that early? Well, she want to be prepared. She wants to be on top of stuff. She wants to be prepared. Nothing wrong with that. Well, yeah. so she she gets on with menace. She goes through about a three and a half minute background on her. Okay. And then menace mm-hmm. has a question for her. All right. I have so many questions just off the intro alone on your <laughs> background. <laughs> uh, I need to uh, figure figure this out where I'm <laughs> even going to start. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I'll, I'll make I'll... it easy for you. Okay. Do you want me to oh, tell you uh, the six points of entry? No, no, no. Real quick, can we? Can I? Can I ask you a couple questions first, and then we'll get into the? <laughs> yeah, six yeah. Points of Go entry? for it. Go um, for it. Man, where do I even start? Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Well, here's a place to start. The six and, points and of entry. Like, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> I got this. And then, where do I start? Because I didn't want her to go into a long spiel about the six <laughs> points of entry without being able to ask a question. Yeah. Uh-huh. She, so she has six different ways you can look at your dreams, which is very okay. them. fascinating, right. by the way. So right. she, and then he's like, "No, man, it's like ah, I got something. Oh, you know what? Right. I." I I, have, I can talk about my friend Woody's dreams. Oh, yeah. okay. All I got right. some really violent dreams. Woody yeah. the Woody Show, he says that every single dream he has is violent. Do you have anything to say about that? We lie, we deny, we avoid, and we sweep. And I call that welcome to the human race. We don't like talking about our feelings. Yeah. But so what happens yeah. is <laughs> you hold it in, and then your dream gives you the overreaction and that's the violent nightmare so you're implying that he wants to do violence no he wants to say something small like gee what you said to me yesterday really aggravated me yeah (laughs) but he's not saying that Stop mm. holding it in, Woody. Yeah, yeah. I gotta learn not to hold it in. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, should really, I should really speak mm. up more. You should. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, by so. the way, not all my dreams are violent. I do have a good amount of violent dreams. Some of them are just straight weird. I mean, apparently, it's because you're a little wiener and you won't speak your mind. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> right. All right. So this is a menace. He's super high. 
on edibles from uh, Cheech and Chong and some PBR weed seltzer. Yeah. And he's talking to this dream interpreter. And why not, you know, talk about drugs? Oh, why not? Perfect. I, uh, I wanted to ask you about, I've been hearing a lot of people getting into ayahuasca. It's big with celebrities, right? But they said it was to release bad chemicals <laughs> from their brain. Do you, are the chemicals, like bad chemicals in your brain, are the ones, are maybe good chemicals in your brain <laughs> that are the ones that produce the dreams? Or is there something beyond no, that? Oh my so maybe in like no. I'm in a, a no. different dimension. <laughs> Yeah, thing. yeah, right. <laughs> this is, let right. me tell you what I do. I yeah. am much more an expert in the language of metaphor than I even am a dream analyst. Mm. Okay. This is why oh, I really liked the lady okay. because she was very stern about like, hey, I don't believe that you're going into another dimension when you're in a dream. I okay. don't even believe in psychic dreams, or at least I won't even talk about it. I just interpret like what is happening basically like within your week, what might've affected something that triggered that dream. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's not, it's not necessarily yeah. like uh it's she, the universe trying to tell you something. Yeah. She wasn't saying like, uh, she wasn't into like, Oh yeah, you go off into a far off planet and talk to aliens and stuff like that. So let's get to that. Let's get to yeah. a, a dream that menace is having right now. What's okay. that mean? As he's super high. I want to know though, um, you had a, a social media post about celebrities, about dreaming about celebrities. Which celebrity it's, did you It do? is because of the news. I keep on dreaming about OJ. OJ. Okay, I love Paul it. Paul James Simpson. <laughs> what comes to mind about him? Football, the white Bronco, and not guilty. White Bronco. <laughs> Let me write this down. And not guilty. Yeah. And how did you feel in that dream? Horny. I feel like there are so many unanswered questions. What do you think might be going on in your life this week that makes you feel you're not sure about what's going to happen? It's where the food at. <laughs> what the hell? She's like, what? Huh? Why do I think that's what's going on in my week? Yeah. Yeah. Where the food at? No, like, what's going on? Is that OJ died? Well, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you know, I'm thinking about OJ. You know, she's trying all, to tie it into you. Yeah. Paul James. No, but so what she when she was explaining the dream, she was saying like this random stuff of me talking about uh, thinking about OJ yeah. is triggered by something else. It's not okay. really about OJ. So right. she's asking me, so what is that? <laughs> oh, so I what see. is making you think about OJ? And I said. Where the, where food, the, where the food at? Where the food Right. That's, okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that makes sense. Well, she yeah. has oh, a yeah. she has a stock dream that she talks about. So, like to explain that how she, how what she does really works, as apparently uh, didn't work with Woody or with Menace. Okay. Right. So this woman, she says, came to her and said, "Okay, I, I have a dream about a puppy crapping on a table. Okay. <laughs> and what's going on in your life right now? Well, I've got a, this overbearing boss I don't like. And so she, with her master uh, dream expertise, mm -hmm. tied those things together." Okay. So I said to the dreamer, if you really had a puppy and he really crapped all over the table, what would be the solution to the problem? What would you do? She said, well, the first thing I would do is take him off the table. I asked her, what does that mean for you? And she said, oh, when I take something off the table, it's over. And so she left my office and quit the job. Oh. She took it off the table. Wow. You get it? Uh, okay. Get did it. That, but that induced stress because she didn't have a job <laughs> anymore to maybe pay bills. Okay, dude, you sound wow. way high. No wonder she I mean, was annoyed with you. We've, we've been around Menace a lot when he's been high. Yeah. But this is so, like. This is next level high. Is so, this like uh, Indica? Like the uh, Indica couch stuff? Yeah, like, yeah. The, like, But. See, the thing is, like, these interviews are really long. Like, the previous interviews, sometimes I, I lay my head down on the table. <laughs> <laughs> but, and the thing is, he can't do that because these people, they will go on. Yeah. Well, they are, yeah. they are yeah. giant boys. Is it her, though? Because she was also told that the interview would be a half hour long, and it went way over. <laughs> How so, long was it in total? It was about an hour. Oh, yeah. wow. but this, is, this is within the first half hour here. Yeah. yeah. Now, what hit harder? Was it the edibles or the uh, weed seltzer? Uh, the Cheech and Chong edibles or the weed cell, the I PBR. I'm taking them all at the same time. Yeah. So. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Who knows? Hard, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hard to know. All right. So Menace's higher education. He's super high. 
He's talking to this lady who's a dream interpreter. And we got to keep playing this one here because, yeah, right. he's, he's... Oh, well, um, okay. Uh, we go back to that previous clip. We, we pause it in the middle. Oh, we did? Okay. Because okay. Menace was saying, well, well, oh, yeah, well, yeah, well yeah, she yeah, quits yeah. her job. Oh, yeah. She quit right, her right. job. Did that induce stress because she didn't have a job anymore to maybe pay bills? <laughs> well, she didn't want to be with per- an abusive boss. And yeah. that was her priority. But they might say, never well, yeah, quit a quit job until you got another job. You know what I'm well, saying? I see what's going on here. It hmm. took me a while. What? Maybe it actually didn't take me that long, but. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hello? <laughs> so she thinks um, she's what? getting this, the menace isn't taking this seriously. So, yeah. Oh. yeah. I see what's going on I here. Right. Yeah. She has but, ferreted him out. And that wasn't that, he wasn't being that rude there. He was just, no. he was kind of like, just trying to, yeah. He was repeating what Woody always says don't quit a job unless you have another have job. Have a job, right. right. Which is and I legit enjoyed talking to her. Yeah. Too. She just couldn't tell. Yeah. <laughs> I see what's going on here. You radio yeah. people. Yeah, right. I wasn't, oh, I wasn't so being now does she think she's being punked for like the rest of the way? Well, uh, then Menace mm-hmm. brings her back because you know what what people talk about with dreams is songs. You, you dream song, song, dream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Menace has a little fun with that, and I think he he brings her back. Brings her back. Okay. Yeah. Oh well. Um. Okay. Uh, we are a music station as well, and I just wanted to say, do you have any songs that you really like that talk about dreams? But yeah. I love John Lennon. <laughs> nice. Now, uh, would you play the the karaoke with me if I did two songs to see if you can figure out play who the they karaoke? are? Sure, why not? Okay. All right. I'm gonna sing the song, and you tell me who 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 it is. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Dream lover, come rescue me. Take me up. Take me down. Take me anywhere you want to, baby. I'm looking in the man in the mirror. Wait, I'm yeah, asking what? him to change his way. Jack- it's Michael Jackson, the man. Oh, nice. In the- Got yeah. it. Yeah, All but, right. but you started with Mariah you. Carey. <laughs> and, he started, and I didn't cut that. He went directly <laughs> from Mariah Carey into Michael Jackson. No pause. No yeah. editing here. It was yeah. a mashup. Dream lover yeah. Mariah Carey yeah. right in the man in the mirror. <laughs> well, she Live got mashup. <laughs> oh, there's more. That was more. Okay, the next one is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I, it's Dream on. Dream on. <laughs> dream on. You got it? No. Uh, Aerosmith, right? <laughs> yeah. Aerosmith. Oh, I don't. No. Okay. I'll give you uh I'll give you a hint. They just announced a tour <laughs> and it's called the Peace Out Tour. Aerosmith? Yes, oh, you nailed wow. it. You got it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe. Nice. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, dreams do inspire a lot of music. They sure do. <laughs> Nine four nine. Jesus, this is so cringe. <laughs> I think he's talking about. Yeah. I think he's winning her back, though. You got yeah, 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 buddies yeah. now. Yeah, let's let's just, uh, give Aww. her her plug here. We, this is not. We're not just gonna totally waste her time. Right, right. Okay. Right. See if she, I mean, we, I loved uh, speaking with you today. It was so much fun. Lane, the dream analyst. Uh, I love your social media, so keep it up. Have a great dream dot com. You find out all about me there. You're a great speaker. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. So and, I, I admit, I admit, I was like skeptical because lots of radio shows are jokes, and yeah, so mm, I wasn't really well, sure where you were going with me. No, but I, I'm so happy to say, Menace. Yeah, he turned out to be the real man. Yeah, I love hey. it. Oh, thank, thank you so Aww. much. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, great, man. great discussion. Yeah, you too. All right. <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> no, I like, did you ever let her know that you were super high? No. 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 Okay. But well, I, I mean, again, I really enjoyed talking to her. It was fun. Well, there she is, the uh, dream Lane interpreter, Lois. Lane Dolph, and we should probably mention her name at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thedreamanalyst.com. Thedreamanalyst.com. Menaces. About six points of entry thing. Menaces. Yeah. Well, yeah, bummer. I'm sure we know what they are. Mouth. Butt, oh no, vagina. Well, no, it was, no, it was no, no. I'll tell you oh. what she, it, it was. It was actually really good. No, it wasn't really good. It was what it she was. did with a dog. It's basically puns. Oh. I, I, you take something off the table. It's over. Okay, you take it off the table. Therefore, you have to quit your job. Oh, okay. No, and she lists. Oh, no, she, she lists. She lists wordplay as one of her six points of entry. Okay, oh. Isn't oh. one it? of the six. But <laughs> a lot of, one the, of a lot the of the six. six points of entry is just like you know you can choose on what kind of person you want. It says be. the points of entry are feelings, plot, wordplay, mm-hmm. symbols, repetition, and action. So like yeah. one, okay, AKA what happens. 
Well, so you can't say we didn't learn anything. We yeah. learned that uh, PBR has the weed salt that's really good. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We learned that uh, <laughs> Cheech and Chong, Chong, Chong have, have some really edibles. powerful edibles. Yeah. <laughs> and Menace can sing. And that oh, Menace yeah. goes right from Mariah Carey. <laughs> He's the matchup Directly into master. Man in the Mirror, yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, some other people checking in after Menace's higher education segment. If you missed it, you can go back on the podcast so you can hear it. Yeah. Talking to the lady, the dream interpreter. Uh, this fun. one says, holy ish. Menace's higher education is killing me right now. I'm laughing my ass off. <laughs> this one says, uh, I'm dying in the car laughing so hard that I can't breathe. This one says, uh, yo. I think I just lost a few brain cells listening to Menace in this interview. Why? <laughs> well, you learn so much. Come on. Yeah. Join fun. <laughs> join education. Yeah. 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 Join <laughs> learning. Oh, uh, well, this person uh, didn't want the person in their car doing any learning from this show. Mm. That's for sure. Uh, Left a message on the After Hours uh, voicemail. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. 877-44-WOODY. This is 877-44-WOODY. We can leave your uh, messages anytime after 10 a.m. each day until the Woody Show hits the air the next day. Here's uh, this woman. Hello, Woody Show. I am calling about a game you guys played on your show, specifically the one called Weed Strain or Porno Name. Uh, just so you know, I listen to your show every day in the car with my daughter on the way to school. She's 11. So when I heard Woody say the words Weed Strain and Porno Name, I turned down the volume, and decided to listen later on the podcast because it sounds freaking hilarious. <laughs> like, he didn't even notice. We talked about horses the whole rest of the way to school. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. All right, bye. See, oh, nice. I, I like the twist. twist. See, you like that, that twist? A, yeah. yeah, twist. That so was good. an M. Night Shyamalan worthy twist. You thought she was going to be a rag, and it turns uh, out, no, she did the right thing. Turned she, it down. Yeah, she realized that there's a volume knob. You could change the station. You could do whatever, and then go back later, and you she can listen. She is a serial killer. It was, <laughs> it's almost as if she was being a parent. What? I know. What? I know. It's crazy. Anyway, leave your message anytime after hours after 10 a.m. 877 44 Woody.